Let's test the Swing Caddy SC4. This is a home use launch monitor, Doppler radar, launch monitor, simulator. There's lots you can do with this. It's a handy, great little device on first appearance. I'm gonna compare it up to my quad as well to give you ideas if the data out of this thing is any good. Let's look at the form factor. Let's look at how to set it up, where you can use it, who might enjoy it, and what it actually can deliver. So let's start with the hardware. It comes in this lovely little white box, very nice, neat packaging. I can see the unit just sits there. Just take the lid off and it's just straight away coming out. Easy, little user manual in there if you wanna learn the user manual ins and outs. But the device is super, super simple. Mine's got a little bit of plastic on, which shows you a little bit how it's got this on-screen display. This is a great feature, which will show you indoors and outdoors. Um, you just peel that off and it reveals a very sleek unit. You can just see the screen at the bottom there, but when the light's not hitting it, it basically just looks like a dark screen. It's got a kickstand at the back, which you set it up with. Super simple, folds away, kicks out for you sitting it on the ground. It's got a little remote control here on the back as well. That just slides out, magnet it on. This is gonna allow me to assign what club I'm hitting, change what targets I'm hitting to, uh, change the mode on the unit so I don't have to keep going down to the unit and hitting any buttons, those kind of ideas. So this is super handy. You could just go in your pocket or just leave it on the back of the unit. Nice and neatly designed there. Because when it comes to the buttons, there's next to nothing. We've got a charging port on this side in there and we've got an on off switch, which also doubles up, I think, as a volume switch. Yeah, it does, a plus minus volume switch. You've basically got two buttons on this device. We also have this little speaker at the back because the device will talk to you. 159 yards. Now, when it comes to setting it up, it is as easy as you just pull it out, pull the kickstand out, sits five foot behind the ball, and you've got this little red line on the back here, so on the top of the unit, which you position and line up the unit to aim the unit to make sure you've got it pointing somewhere towards your target, whatever that may be. It's the form factor, it's solid, it's good, it's a little plasticky, but that's not a problem, it keeps it nice and light. It doesn't feel like it's gonna particularly break. I feel like I could take that on the course, I'd be confident. And if I had a home studio that like my kids use or what have you, I'd feel like it's robust enough for any little knocks and kind of bangs. You still want to look after it, but yeah, impressed with the form factor and the ease of setup. The Swing Caddy SC4 measures eight data points. We get carry and total distance, ball speed, swing speed, smash factor, apex, launch angle, launch direction, and spin. So it's gonna give you the numbers you need to try and find your distances. It's gonna help you on your journey to understanding how spin is helping or hurting you with different clubs. It's gonna give you direction, obviously, as well. It's got everything you need in there, peak heights in Apex, that would allow you to really dial down into your game and understand how each one of your clubs work. It's Doppler radar, so it's a radar system. It sits behind the ball and it's basically seeing the ball as it flies off. But it obviously doesn't need all the ball distance in flight. It's gonna predict if you use it in an indoor situation, which I'm gonna show you, as well as outdoor. I imagine it's a little bit more accurate, arguably, because it might see the ball for a lot longer. The other neat feature with it as well is it understands what conditions you're playing in and adjusts accordingly because it has biometric pressure sensor built into it. So it's basically measuring the weather, the conditions to make sure that the numbers it gives you is real to the day that you're out there hitting shots and trying to learn your numbers. So I started by testing this indoors using the app that comes free with it. You can simulate like play rounds of golf and slightly funkier graphics in an app, which I'll show you at the end, but there are subscriptions I think are, are assigned to those. It's like a third party um, app, which we'll come to. I was impressed with the app. The app is clean, it's professional, it's fun, it's bright, it's kind of well designed. It'll, it'll, it's got all the trimmings, the app. I started off by hitting a few wedges with the device. I was comparing always to my quad to see how the data was coming out. We'll do a full idea of what the data feels like further down the video. But 
The wedges, I wasn't that impressed at the start. The distances weren't that accurate. They were up to 10 yards out on a 50 yard shot. And I was a bit surprised. I was thinking, not that great a device when it comes hitting like a 50 yard shot. It was consistent. So where it was consistently saying it was 40 yards, my quad was consistently saying it was more in the 50 yard kind of gap. It was 10 yards out, but consistently. So work into that as you will. I then moved up to hitting fuller shots, more around 150 is kind of yardage. And now we've really started to hit the number. The spins weren't always perfectly accurate. They were a little variable where the quad was more consistent. Obviously it's a quad device for anyone who doesn't know is a 14,000 pound industry standard launch monitor. So, you know, we're very different ends of the spectrum here. So you would understand that they uh, probably aren't as accurate as each other one's gonna win. Uh, but I don't think that's the point. This is a home use simulator, which someone wants just to try and learn a bit about their game. And when I started hitting 100 yards, uh, 150 yard shots and plus, the numbers for carry and distance were really, really good. The spin got closer. The launches were very, very good. The numbers got way, way tighter, which really impressed me. Like it made me feel like I could pop this down on a range inside in my garage at home into a net. And it would give me some reliable data that I could use and take to the course and learn about my game. I then went on and hit drivers as well. Also the numbers are very, very good. The easiness of the systems working together to pair this Bluetooth, you literally just turn the Bluetooth on, it finds a device. There's no awkward pairing or anything like that. I was absolutely impressed with how easy it was, how clean the app looked, and how it could store data over time. It was quite a good interface to allow you to build up a database of shots, launch directions, spins, um, how far each club went. Like it would be valuable information over time. A Little bit disappointed on the 50 yard wedges, impressed from 100 yards out to nearly 300 yards. The numbers were very, very usable. Then for me, how I would use this unit more would be taking it out on the golf course, real world data. What happens when I'm not warmed up? What happens when I'm nervous? What happens on a hole it's really tight? What happens on a hole where it's wide open? Iron shots from the ground, you know, all these things I wanted to really know how it worked. Again, what was so great is the display on the screen makes it so simple to hit a shot, just have a look. You don't need to pair to your phone. I'm out on the course. I wanna just move around at normal pace. I don't want to be pairing things to my phone or getting my phone out. And it's great because of that onboard display. Kickstand out, put it down five foot behind, line it up, perfect, so easy. You could seamlessly do this in your round and it wouldn't upset people. If you're out there playing on your own, it wouldn't make you take forever. I don't think it would be that annoying. And being as small as the unit is, it fits into your bag, really simple. I would even take it with a bag if I had it, you know, carrying my bag and walking rather than on a trolley or in a, a cart. I feel like I could absolutely warrant taking this out on the course sometimes. Worked really well. Again, numbers, full shots were pretty good for what I know from my data from testing over years of myself on, on industry standard machines. Out on the course, seamless, easy. I was absolutely impressed with it. So before we show you the SIM software connected with this, which I think is maybe like the biggest sell for lots of people, and let's show you, I'll show you how that's used and what it looks like. The price, the price is good. It's around 500 pounds equivalent US dollars. It's very well priced, cheaper than some drivers nowadays. And the kind of person who might use this, buy this, I think it's an entry level launch monitor. You wanna start having some fun at home. You want to practice a bit more at home and not get bored of just hitting it into a net and having no idea what happened to the shot. It absolutely could do that. Is it accurate? Is it going to give you data that you would hold, you know, you would, you would hold your hat to and say, this is exactly what shots I hit? Well, the data compared to quad was maybe not as accurate as you would want across all shots. Certainly left and right, I found it not that accurate on direction. So again, you might think, oh, okay, well, it's not worth doing. Now, if you're someone who wants to hit more shots in the week, have more fun, and you want to enjoy your practice more, then yeah, 
the gaming part, which we were about to show you, was really good fun. And if you did it in a better way than I did it, which we'll show you in a second, I reckon you could make it really fun with projected on the screen or on a telly in front of you. So I think this machine would make you practice more in situations where you might get bored. I think this machine would be good for anyone who wants to understand their golf a bit more. A bit of commitment to learning and starting to learn about launch angles and spin rates and how they can manipulate them to be better players. Personally, if it came to buying a new drum, driver or it came to buying this device well unless your driver's way off you could argue this device has more value than a new driver even though most of you watching this would want a new driver if money was no object because people like buying shiny new things i honestly think you could benefit from this and it absolutely would make your practice more fun so i think the committed learner who wants to have a bit more fun would consider buying this at the price it's paced at So this is the E6 app. This is the app that is a subscription, but it gives you very funky real-time graphics. I started off by using it on the range. You just tell it what club you're using. Super simple in the base. Now I was using it on an iPhone. You definitely want to use it on an iPad or then more. So get it on a, you can pay for it for a, a system, you know, on your computer. It costs a lot more, I think. But again, don't quote me on the cost. On the iPhone, it's a very busy app and the writing was minuscule. <laughs> I could barely read it. So even though I got it to function on the app fine, I would advise using it on a bigger screen. Now, bear in mind as well, you could out this to a TV, to a monitor. I was just doing it on my, because I didn't want to muck around with my already installed sim but you could obviously get this projected onto your screen as well if you want and for graphic stroke how the interface look it's fantastic the the range is super clean the way it promotes and or, or shows the data is really really smart and clean the top view to down the range to follow in moving all that around like it's got a lot of really good features and for a home sim you would feel like this is as good as what you're getting when you go for your lessons on your big sims. Now, is the num are the numbers as accurate? No, they're not gonna be as accurate. So I don't think there's any competition here between say a 5,000 GC3 or whatever you're calling that in your country compared to, or even a quad or a track man, like they're not comparable. Are the numbers good enough, like I said earlier, to have fun? Are the graphics good enough to have fun? Does it show me some distances and spins that I can use and learn from? Absolutely, the, the range was good. Let's show you what happens when I took it onto the course because I can play a hole using this device. So the on-course experience, you've got options. You can add players, so you could play with multiple players. You could set your tees. You can change where you aim. Like it's unlimited. I would say the software is as good as any of the top software out there. The measuring device is going to have, you know, they're not the same. I mean, obviously, price shows that. But the actual software was great. The animation was great. It was super, super fun. It gave you a feeling of trying to hit targets and hit the ball precise distance. It did everything you would want a simulator to be able to do, which is engage your indoor practice in a way that makes you practice more, which means you'd benefit more as a player. If you've got kids who want to think about starting, they would totally interact and engage with this. I was impressed. The actual playing gaming software, you can save your data, save your rounds, like it's unlimited. Whatever you think you want it to do, it's doing it. They've been making software at E6 for simulators for years. I've seen them around for years and the software is down. It's good, it's solid and a lot of fun. So the verdict, should you buy it? Is it the best launch monitor for home use? Well, it's very good, it's decent, and it's certainly one of the most fun. I love the form factor, I like the ease of setting up. I like the lack of buttons. I like the fact that it displays everything on the front so you don't need your phone, or you can use your phone, your computer, your iPad, and really pimp up your garage or wherever you wanna put this in a room at home and have a home simulator. And for the price, I think it is worth the money for the price, bearing in mind what you're spending on golf clubs at the minute. I, I absolutely do think it's worth the money. Is it anywhere near as accurate as the top ones? No, but if anyone's watching this thinking a 500 pound launch monitor is gonna compete with a 15, 13, 20 grand launch monitor, then you might need to rethink how you think business works. They're the best because they are the best. I would never teach with this. 
I wouldn't use it personally because I've got access to launch monitors. I'm only going to use stuff that I can really trust and deliver the best information I can. If I was a home use user, I wanted to learn, I wanted to understand spins, I wanted to game, I wanted to have fun for 500 quid, absolutely as a keen golfer, I would 100% have this in my garden, in my room, in my simulator, on the range when I practice. And it would be the first step towards, because there's other steps with launch monitors, I think it's the first step towards understanding the launch monitor world and moving into more accurate reading. Pretty good product. Well done, Swing Caddy. What do you think down below? Let me know in the comments if you want to find out more about how spin and what have you might affect your drives. This video is going to help you understand some of the data that comes out of here and how to improve it.